Well, 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 good evening, side friends. This is Mitty Man coming at you again from Walker's Music. Get another word for today. Uh, we want to say we give God all the praise and glory for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. And we also thank God for each and every one of you. You know who you are, side friend. We also want to say good evening to the Bible study. Uh, we wanted to say that we apologize for the Bible study this week. Uh, Mitty Man, on Tuesday night, I had to travel to Columbus, Georgia for uh, engagement with uh, my former uh, church family. And uh, he had to do a revival. Our pastor, Stephanie Walton, had to do a, a preaching and a revival up there. And uh, I ended up going up there with them on this here particular engagement. And then on Thursday night, the, I got the uh, notification from Blog Talk that the lines were all messed up, and so I want to apologize to the Bible study for the for, for having to miss. But one of them, well, neither one. I, you always could say I could not help it, or I could. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, things that are out of your hand, you cannot. So in other words, we just going to say that if the Lord will, we will be returned on next week. I just came, as the title of my video say here, just a uh, mini man, I remember 9-11. And for those of you, I sure, I'm quite sure if you're from the United States, you know exactly what 9-11 means. But uh, just for those that may not, it's the time where when it was on September 11th in, 19, in 2001, I should say that the, that, that horrible event that changed, forever changed the way America think, live, our way of life, if we ever changed it, uh, happened in a terrorist attack on the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center in New York City. And we just want to say that in the, from all of the, the, the hurt and the pain, was a lot of people lost their lives on that particular day. Matter of fact, we just didn't only have an attack on the Trade Centers, it's alone. It was an attack on the Pentagon as well. And according to sources, they say even a third plane was on the way to the nation's capital. They, some said it had targeted the White House. I'm not certain, but they were making a statement, and they made a very loud statement, but nevertheless, some 14 years later, we still stand. We still stand. And uh, I want to say that uh, I never will forget that Tuesday. I, I, I can tell you exactly what I was doing on that particular Tuesday. I was standing in the middle of the doorway between the kitchen and my living room up there, watching it as it happened live on the uh, on the uh, the news that there was a bulletin and everything. I mean, it was it had the airways were just loaded. Did nobody understand? Did nobody know what was going on? Everybody was looking for answers and whatnot. So. I just want to say, people, that um, that really, that really, that really hurted me to a great deal to see an attack like that on our land. Being a veteran, I felt all kinds of emotion that morning. I felt all kinds of emotions that morning, and I, I'm not gonna uh, sit here and, and tell you that they were all happy thoughts because they wasn't. To be honest with you. I believe on that Tuesday morning, I got very angry. I mean, very, very angry. And we'll just leave it at that. And I saw that the kind of terrorism that attacked people that had no kind of heart than to do something that terrible. And the loss of lives it didn't have any regard for human life at all. And, uh, Nevertheless, Jesus said that we must love. We must love. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you no different. The love of God is mostly needed in every situation. I know that. But people, I did not feel any love in that morning. No, I didn't. Not for not one of those individuals that had any take, that kind of hand in that deal that morning. No, many men didn't have no love for not one. I'm just being honest. But nevertheless, 14 years later, we are still standing. And matter of fact, it may not be in the 
the great splendor that I wish we would be standing. Matter of fact, in the United States, we have lost a lot of the glory. And uh, matter of fact, well, uh, just like certain, it's not my saying. I heard other people say this, uh, especially ministers of the gospel. They said that uh, our enemies don't fear us, neither do our friends trust us. Well, I, I can understand exactly where they're coming from in that. But nevertheless, we must remember that uh, we need to go back and look at our money. It's saying, God, we trust. It's still printed on our money. That's the one we need to trust. That's the one we need to put our trust back in. And as far as all the other stuff that's going on, all the disrespect toward God, in my opinion, in other words, because I did read, I can read, and it, I know what God has said and He's stating His word. Only thing I can say is that to all the people that defies God's word, God will come. We will call ourselves coming against God, but God is not. God is not angry toward that much in in, the, in respect of a lot of people saying it because first of all, God is sovereign. And he, we are too small in God's eyes for him to get mad at something that we do. I'm not going to say God is mad. But I will say that as long as we go against the grain of God's word, that we are not going to receive the blessing that we once have received from God. I don't believe that. Uh, and I'm not saying that God is not gracious because God is great. God is gracious. And, he has, and, his, and his grace is sufficient. Matter of fact, Jesus is grace and truth. And I know he never gives up on us, per se, because Jesus died while we were yet sinners. So what many man is just saying is I remember 9-11 and I want us to never forget what can happen. And then when we start praising these different people, these, these terrorists, and we even got our own people trying to join groups and certain, certain movements, which are which endorses violence and, 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 and killing and all that kind of stuff like that. People you need to take another look at that. Remember, before you if you are I don't care if you are if you are an American and which I am, I tell people people say, Well I, me man, you African American. No, I am American. I, I, I don't know nobody in Africa. I my I am American. I was born here, my mom and my dad were born here, I was born here, that makes me an American. That's what I am. I got African roots, or maybe the descendants, but I am an American. I don't take offense if someone call me African American because I know what they're saying. But I'm letting everybody know I'm American. And so, if you are American and you got any kind of notion at all talking about joining one of these here crazy groups or whatnot, then I say I want you to remember 9/11. Anytime you want to go out and join one of these extreme, extreme groups, and I'm not just talking about groups in the Middle East, I'm talking about groups if they're domestic. When I joined the military, I, I swore against to defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. We got domestic enemies as well as foreign enemies. So I'm saying if you, if you ever think they're about joining up these, these, these radical groups or not, whether they be foreign or domestic, remember 9-11. Remember 9/11, and I think that will give that will make you think twice about it. So with that said, the man is saying that we, 14 years later, we still stand tall. And I wish, and I hope that our land repent of a lot of things that we have done, all the way back from the 60s all the way up to now. Things that we have done that make this nation take a dive toward the wrong way. We are diving. We just like a we just like a uh, we just like a 747 headed for a crash landing. I'm, I'm praying that we will pray, seek God's face, turn from our wicked ways, go back to God and we'll let him heal, heal our land again. And uh, as I say, America is my home. I love the United States of America. And I also, my spiritual home, I love the nation of Israel. People, if you take Israel and the United States out of the equation, it's a gleam, very dim outlook. If you ask me, the man. So with that being said, me, the man, just going to say it like I always say, whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it because it's going to come to nothing. And God bless the USA. Peace and goodbye.